shift focus and get to story number two on the right stand. And this is what's happening in the capital. There's water logging, there is a huge amount of traffic jams and leakages and of course, harassment of the people. More importantly, lives have been lost. Citizens continue to be on a war path over civic apathy in the capital. Look what just about an hour of rain on the 31st did. They have to bear the brunt as common people. Houses collapsed after heavy rains in Delhi's Sabzi Mandi area. Mother and son drowned in Ghazipur. ITO remains waterlogged with traffic snarls across the city and citizens continue to raise slogans against the authorities. Delhi witnessed 112.5 mm of rainfall in one hour on the 31st of July towards the evening. Alert for heavy rain to continue till about the 5th of August. Schools are shut. Waterlogging has been reported in multiple parts. What the High Court has said while hearing the matter today, Delhi drainage issue, the High Court has actually come out and said, even in the past, on the 25th, the court sought a reply from the Chief Secretary to present desilting timeline. Drains are virtually clogged and can't be cleared overnight. It's imperative to develop a new master plan, they said. On the 10th of January, earlier this year, High Court said drainage system is in a very bad state of affairs. Drainage system has totally collapsed. Do we have a drainage system in Delhi or do we don't have it? It is absolutely pathetic. On the 8th of April, the High Court said need for unified and centralized command imperative to solve the drainage issues. City and its citizenry waits with apprehension when monsoons are approaching. Drains are mismanaged. Administrative agencies adopt an ostrich-like approach wishing flooding won't happen. Need for a vision by administrators to manage present needs and anticipate the future. But here is the thing, ladies and gentlemen. What about us? These drains don't clog themselves on their own, do they? It's all the junk that we throw. So what are we doing as citizens, Dr. Ranganath? Are we not also equally to blame as much as the civic apathy or inefficiency that's being called out? And more importantly, you and me will be held criminally culpable for driving a car through a flooded road. That person thankfully has now got bail. But what about the officials who've allowed these constructions and these illegalities? Absolutely, Anand. There are three points to make. Number one, and you know me, I've always criticized anything that needs to be criticized. Hmm. Uh, but the the starting premise should be that one month's rainfall fell in one hour in yeah. Delhi. Yeah. So, you know, whatever contingency you may have for emergency, it just uh, obviously it is burdened to the extreme when you have a month's rainfall falling in an hour. So, you know, no amount of contingency plan or something extra planning can take care of that. Hmm. Having said that, we have seen even when, you know, a day's rainfall falls in one hour or rainfall doesn't fall or there is some, we have municipal apathy, we have malfunctioning to the extreme of all these municipal corporations, the government, state and center. I mean, this is a litany that has gone on for decades. Hmm. The point of the matter is when you say, are we also not at fault? Well, uh, Anand, to be fair with you, uh, we pay our taxes, hmm. we want better amenities, we want functional, working, sensitive, uh, uh, you know, listening to the citizen municipalities like that, we don't get it. Now, you talked about illegalities, of course, as the proverb goes, rules are meant to be broken. Every one of us, if we can get away with it, we break rules. We've seen it speeding yeah. or that's anything. That's human tendency. But that's human tendency. But of course, in a rules based society, there has to be an organization that puts paid to that. So, for example, that will not allow that to happen. Now, when the MCD allows 55,000 illegalities that they have just noted in the last six years and doesn't do anything about it, hmm. obviously you will have mishaps happening. But here, I also want to point out the role of the judiciary because if the executive and the legislator are simply not working or they are at the altar of political expediency, they are not doing what they should be, the judiciary takes over. You may call it judicial activism or what you may. Hmm. But the fact of the matter is, a few months ago in Mumbai, when two children drowned, the Mumbai High Court took suomoto cognizance. Same happened in the Gujarat High Court. It took suomoto cognizance in that uh, uh, the, the fire that happened in the playground. So why did not the court take suomoto cognizance of those three tragic deaths that happened? Hmm. Why? The Supreme Court is completely silent about the chaos that we, the Delhiites have been witnessing. 
this is something that the judiciary also needs Interestingly, to answer. Interestingly, 2017, a report uh, that was led by a panel led by D. R. Karthikeyan, and the former CBI director. It was under the aegis of the then Chief Justice of the Delhi High Court, uh, Justice Geeta Mittal. They have actually submitted a report, a comprehensive report on what needs to be done, action that needs to be taken. That report is in cold storage in the courts itself. I don't even know if the current chief justices and the current judges know that there is a report already with recommendations. There is a design drainage design system, a blueprint that was adopted eight nine years ago that still has not been implemented in Delhi, and the courts have not said anything. No, but Anand, just a minute on this because you know you've really uh, hit the uh, the nerve there, and I'm. Uh, please don't talk about reports. You see, what happens is when there is water logging, when the cars or vehicles stall. Yes, there is some discomfort. When the roof leaks, of course, there is. You feel frustrated, but at least the lives are not lost. When lives are lost because you don't pay heed or pay cognizance to the reports that you yourself asked to be conducted, then who is criminally uh, criminally culpable? I put it to you. Hmm. That, for example, the tragedy that is unfolding right now—it's been four days in Vyanar. Okay. More than 250 people have been killed. The Gadgil Committee and more than three other committees have submitted their report during the UPA, during the NDA. That this is an ecological sensitive zone. You cannot have construction there because uh, landslides are waiting to happen. The Congress did not even allow for the report to be made public. Yes. Who is criminally culpable? There, See, we need the answer. Here, here, no, here is the thing. No, they say public memory is very short. Four days we will cry. After that, we will leave. Because as soon as the rain stops, the roads will open. People will forget. That that's the attitude with which they get away. These officials get away, and they will always say, "I was not there. It was under some other official, so you can't hold me culpable. I didn't know. I tried to do, but I was stopped from executing. So the councillor gets away. The engineer gets away. It's the juniors who get suspended for a little while, and then when things settle down, they will be brought back into duty. So this is a I, this is I, a I, I, this is a perennial I, game and it's a sad one at that. It's a sad one at that. That's the reality. I just want to add something. You see, in Jee. other domains, this doesn't happen because if, for example, a doctor can be punished and arrested through me, uh, medical negligence. Now there is such a thing as medical negligence. If the hospital says that you cannot administer this or you must administer this to the patient and the doctor doesn't, he is criminally uh, criminally culpable. So, Now I ask you. If, if for example, under the uh, uh, leadership of Rahul Gandhi and the Congress, a report said you cannot have any construction activity because this will lead to deaths, and the Congress did nothing about it, the MP of Vyana did nothing about it, the Environment Minister Jairam Ramesh did nothing about it. Are they not? I am asking this seriously. Are they not crimi criminally so, so culpable? They are, so they are no longer environment ministers. At that time, Mr. Rahul Gandhi was not the MP of Vyana. Neither was uh, the councillor currently, who is absconding and AWOL for the last four days in uh, in uh, in Delhi. Was the councillor when these buildings were constructed? Nor was the current chief justice the chief justice when this report was commissioned. So everybody will have bahanas, and some rules don't apply to babus, netas, and uh, of course those in the kala court or in the judiciary. It applies to everybody else. That's a reality, sir. That should change too. Dr. Ranganathan, please stay on quickly. Moving on here, uh, 